Howdy people! In this video, we'll be going over the Manage Basic Networking Objectives for the RHCSA. We can get started with configuring IPv4 and IPv6 addresses. So just give me one moment to get my recording set up. Okay, so unlike the usual videos, we won't be using the lab today, but rather a virtual private server. This will be a great example of a realistic situation where you would need to configure static IP addresses. So anyways, there are two tools that we should be aware of, NMCLI and NMTUI. These are the commands we use to configure the network manager service. NMCLI is a purely command line oriented tool, and NMTUI is a TUI, or text UI. The latter one is definitely the more intuitive and easier to use, and if all you really care about is configuring some simple addressing and stuff, it works pretty well. But in this video, we'll still work with both of them because NMCLI is definitely the more powerful command, and it's worth our time to be aware of it while also knowing how to do things fast and easy in NMTUI. So anyways, all we're going to have to do here is identify what interface we want to configure, and then create or modify a network manager connection profile for that interface. We can check our interfaces with the IP adder command, and I like to throw in the dash dash color option here just to make it look a little pretty. And there we go. We have an interface called ENS3. We can also check what network manager profiles already exist on this machine with NMCLI on show and we have a profile also named ENS3, but the name of the profile is not to be confused with the name of the interface. In fact, this profile name is named after the interface. So I hope that clears that up. And so this connection profile we have here is actually located in slash ETC network manager system connections. And yeah, there's that file. And you might have been familiar with the slash etc sysconfig network scripts directory. And I just want to let you know that use of this directory for configuration has been deprecated in the version of network manager that ships with rel 9. So if you go in here, all you'll see is a text file that basically tells you what I just told you. So yeah, we'll quit out of here. I'll go back and clear the screen and so for me to get this server online, I'll need to follow the address configuration instructions from my cloud provider. Here's a screenshot of what those instructions look like, by the way. It's pretty standard stuff. So we can start the easy way by using NMTUI. So I'll just open it up as the root user and go to edit our connections, ENS3, edit, and um, okay then. So as you can see, right now this connection is set to automatic. So that means that it's expecting a DHCP server to swoop in and take care of everything. But that service is not available on this network, so nothing's actually going to happen. And now it's just a matter of switching this to manual and punching in all of the network details ourselves. So um, I'll just type in the IP address first. Uh, let me check here. Uh, before I cut out the rest of me just typing, I just wanted to show you that I had to use a calculator to get the CIDR notation of this network from the subnet mask given by the cloud provider. So the correct answer is slash 26. Now, the RHCSA isn't a networking exam, so I wouldn't worry too much about knowing how to calculate stuff like CIDR. I just wanted to mention that so everything's clear about where I'm getting my information from. Anyways, the rest of this isn't terribly interesting, so I'll get right back after I finish typing. Alrighty then. The addressing settings are in. Uh, here's just a look at what I did. So here's the IPv6 configuration. And up over here is the IPv4 configuration. So it looks just about the same as the information I got from the cloud provider. 
And so we can key down over here to OK and back out of here. And uh, we'll just quit. And then we'll run nmcli on reload to reload the connections. And it also might be a good idea to run system CTL restart network manager uh, just to make sure that all of our changes took effect. And now let's give this a try. So if I run IP adder again, uh, as you can see, our IP addresses are definitely in there. So that looks promising. But how about this? Uh, we'll just curl example.org, I guess. And there we go. Uh, the machine is clearly able to operate on the internet. So that's really good. Um, now let's pretend that we never made it this far. In fact, let's go ahead and delete the connection and start from scratch by using NMCLI this time. So to do that, we can just run NMCLI on Dell ENS3. That's the name of our connection. And now it's deleted. And then we can just run systemctl restart network manager again. And now if we check uh, IP adder, uh, we're basically back at square one. Okay, so um, I'd like to now direct you to the nmcli-examples man page. Uh, in here are, well, examples, because nmcli has tons of options, and we're only human. So uh, example 11, if I can scroll down here fast enough, uh, example 11, come on, here it is. It, so this is exactly what we want to use. Like, I already have taken a mental image of what's going on here, but of course, on the exam or just in daily life, you're free to refer back here if you ever want a refresher on how to add a connection with NMCLI, especially an Ethernet one like this. So yeah, uh, I'll quit out of man. And uh, so to recap, of course, we have no uh, network manager connections. Well, we have an automatic one that was generated again, so it's orange. But uh, we can go ahead and delete that one too, I guess. And then CLI con del. That's one of the funny things with network manager. It just kind of does stuff on its own. Um, it's a really friendly tool, but oops, I didn't mean, mean to do that. I meant to do this. Okay, now we have no connections. But yeah, it's a really friendly uh, tool, but sometimes it can be a little bit um, extra, I guess. Okay, so uh, uh, we're gonna need to create a network manager connection. So that'll just be a NMCLI con add, and uh, we're gonna set the type to ethernet like that. That's the important part. And then we can set a connection name with con-name, and I'll call this my net, I guess. Sure. It's always nice to use a, a name without spaces. That's just a good idea. And then the interface name, or IF name, will just be ENS3. And then the rest of this, I'm just going to type out again uh, real quick off-camera, just because it'll take a while, but um, I'll show you uh, what's going on uh, before I run the command. So just give me a moment again. Okay, so I'm back, and hopefully the line breaks that I added in here make this a little bit easier to read. So before I run this command, I just want to go over just making sure that uh, the pattern here is clear about how these options work. Like, for example, the IPv4 gateway is called GW4, while the IPv6 version is called GW6, and so on. Like, the only exception here is that for DNS, it's like IPv4 instead of just IP4, and IPv6 instead of just IPv6. So, I mean, um, the reason why these are named the way they are is because of how the configuration file is laid out, I'm guessing. So it's not like we can change that, but um, I mean, the, the man page is always there and it's really helpful. So, yeah. 
So uh, we can just run this and we're going to wind up with a very similar situation to our first attempt. So if I run nmcli con show, we have our new mynet. And if I run nmcli con reload and uh, systemctl restart and check ip adder again, we can see here that we are back in business. And so um, we can also try curling example.org again, like why not? And clearly that's working as well. So this is just excellent. And I mean, that's about all for this objective. We can take a look at the next one in a future video. I mean, like, um, it's actually about configuring hostname resolution, which I already made a video about, but I can quickly review it again a second time. Like, why not? I can at least do it in a more concise way than I did it before. And yeah, so stay tuned for part two, and thanks for watching.